Good morning. Welcome to BPL's virtual story time. We do this every week, Wednesdays at 1030. I am Miss Laura, and we're going to start with our hello song. Here we go. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? Yay! All right, yesterday was March 2nd. It's a very special day in library land. It is National Read Across America Day. Um, it's been, always been celebrated on Dr. Seuss's birthday. So the craft that Miss Melissa put together for us this week is a little cat in the hat, pipe cleaner, finger puppet, cutest thing ever. So if you would like to have a craft kit which contains instructions and all the supplies you need to make one of these cat in the hat finger puppets you can pick one up at the youth services desk at the library or call us from the curb at 918-338-4170 and we will bring you one right out okay there's also a facebook post about it and if you take a kit home and make a finger puppet we'd love to see a picture of it in the Facebook post comments. All right, so I am going to read one Dr. Seuss book since yesterday was his birthday and National Read Across America Day. We're going to read Dr. Seuss's ABC. Big A Little a, what begins with a? Let's see. Aunt Annie's alligator, a, a, a. Big B, little b, what begins with b? Can you think of anything that begins with b? Barber baby bubbles and a bumblebee. Big C, little C, what begins with C? Camel on the ceiling, C, C, C. Big D, little D, David Donald Do dreamed a dozen donuts and a duck dog too. A, B, C, D, E, 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 ear, egg, elephant, E, E, E. Big F, little F, 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 four fluffy feathers on a fiffer, feffer, feff. Dr. Seuss was known for putting, putting letters together and putting words together kind of differently to make nonsensical words and sentences. Four fluffy feathers on a fiffer, feffer, feff. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, goat, girl, goo goo goggles, G, G, G. Big H, little h, hungry horse and hay. Hen in a hat. Hooray, hooray. Big I, little I, 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 I. Ichabod is itchy, and so am I. Big J, little J, what begins with J? Jerry Jordan's jelly jar and jam began that way. Begin that way. Jerry Jordan's Jelly Jar and Jam begin with J. Big K, Little K, Kitten, Kangaroo, Kick a Kettle, Kite, and a King's Kerchoo. Big L, Little L, Little Lola Lop, Left Leg, Lazy Lion Licks a Lollipop. 
Big M, little M, many mumbling mice are making midnight music in the moonlight. Mighty nice. Big N, little N, what begins with those? Nine new neckties and a nightshirt and a nose. O is very useful. You use it when you say, Oscar's only ostrich oiled an orange owl today. Oscar's only ostrich oiled an orange owl today. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Painting pink pajamas. Policeman in a pail. Peter Pepper's puppy and now Papa's in the pail. Big Q, little Q, what begins with Q? The quick queen of Quincy and her quacking quackaroo. Quack, quack. Can you quack like a quackaroo? Quack, quack. Big R, little R, Rosie Robin Ross. Rosie's going riding on her red rhinoceros. Big S, little S, silly Sammy Slick. Sipped six sodas and got sick, sick, sick. T, T, T. What begins with T? Ten tired turtles on a tettle tettle tree. Big U, little U. What begins with U? Uncle Ub's umbrella and his underwear, too. Big V, little V, Vera Violet Vin is very, very, very awful on her violin. WWW, Willie Waterloo washes Warren Wiggins, who is washing Waldo Woo. X is very useful if your name is Nixie Knox. It also comes in handy spelling axe and extra fox. Big Y, little Y. Ooh, a yawning yellow yak. Young, uh, huh, young Yolanda Jorgensen is yelling on his back. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X W X Y and Z. Big Z, little Z. What begins with Z? I do. I am a zizzer zazzer zuz, as you can plainly see. Can you say zizzer zazzer zuz? That's the end. Dr. Seuss's ABC. Let's sing our ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? I hope you sang with me this time. All right. This is one of my favorites by Sean Bryan and Tom Murphy. A boy and his bunny. One day, a boy woke up with a bunny on his head. He named him Fred, this bunny on his head. Good morning, said Fred, the bunny on his head. And the boy got out of bed with you-know-who on his head. His mother cooked breakfast and made sure he was fed. The boy ate quite a bit. 
but he saved some for Fred. Mother looked puzzled as she brought him his bread. You know, I hate to tell you, but it's got to be said. You have a great big bunny on your head. And what's wrong with that? Asked the big bunny Fred. You can do anything with a bunny on your head. Books can be read with a bunny on your head. Peanut butter can be spread with a bunny on your head. Oui, oui, French can be said with a bunny on your head. I don't know if that was very French, but I tried. Even armies can be led with a bunny on your head. And not only that, the boy said to Fred, you could ride a bobsled with a bunny on your head. You could build a tool shed with a bunny on your head. You could drive a moped with a bunny on your head. Or explore the seabed with a bunny on your head. Wow, said the boy's mother. I take back what I said. You look pretty cool with that bunny on your head. But what would she think a few minutes later when his sister walked in with a small alligator? And next week I will be reading A Girl and Her Gator by Sean Bryan and Tom Murphy. All right, let's sing another song. How about Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, we're going to read one more story. I showed you the cat in the hat finger puppet craft that you can come and get supplies for. After our last story, I'm going to show you what we have in store for next week. This book by Bethany Dini Mergua is called, Do You Believe in Unicorns? Do you? Do you think that's a unicorn? All right, there's what looks like a horse's bottom in the barn. Hey, look, it's a horse in a hat. No, I do not think it could be a unicorn in disguise. That's ridiculous. It's just a horse, a horse who woke up with messy hair. That's why it's wearing a hat. Tell me this, why would a unicorn want to hide its horn? Oh, you think unicorns like to keep people guessing? I think it's just a horse whose favorite color is red. Or a horse who doesn't want the sun in its eyes. Do you really think it could be that easy to find a unicorn? Let's be realistic. It's probably a horse trying to keep its head dry. You think? No? 
I do think a horse would take its hat off for tea, though. So I suppose I can't be completely entirely certain that it's not a unicorn. Oh, thank goodness. Now we'll know for sure. Looks like he took off his hat. It's a Hold on a minute. Maybe you can only see unicorns if you believe in them. The end. All right. All right, so next week we're celebrating Johnny Appleseed. His real name was John Chapman, but he went by Johnny Appleseed because a long time ago, um, you couldn't find apples in a lot of places. And he went around um, far, far and near and planted apple trees. So he became famous for, for making apples available all around the country. In this packet, you'll find fun information about Johnny Appleseed. You'll find some puzzles, um, apple tic-tac-toe, a crossword puzzle, a maze. You can make your own little Johnny Appleseed guy. And there's a song. Shall I share it with you? Here comes Johnny Appleseed, apple seeds are all he needs, planting apples on his way out west. Wears a pot up on his head, beneath the stars he makes his bed, folks say Johnny's apples are the best. There you go. Next week we'll have these Johnny Appleseed packets available. I will read about Johnny Appleseed, but we still have a lot of kits that you can come pick up to make one of these guys. All right. Thanks everybody for joining us. See you next time.